Welcome to the Solidity course. In this course, we'll start with the absolute basics and in the end, we will create our own Solidity project with the front end to interact with the blockchain. You have two options to complete this course. The first option is you can complete this course at codezalert.com. So there are a couple of other courses available. So for Solidity, you can go here, click on start course. And if you complete this course on Codes Alert, you'll get your certificate of completion as well. So which is absolutely free. So that's the first option. The second option is you can continue here on YouTube. The complete code base is available at GitHub. Link is there in the description. So in case of any issues, you can reach out to us at Discord. You can find the Discord link here in the code is alert uh, Twitter account. Click on this link and join the Discord. And in case of any technical issues or any other issues, you can connect with us and we'll help you out there. So without further ado, let's get started. We will use the Remix IDE to learn the Solidity basics and we will also set up our own blockchain environment in VS Code to create our end project like this one. If you are new to this channel, my name is Animan. I provide free blockchain and Web3 courses and help developers break into Web3 with structured approach. So without further ado, let's get started with our Solidity course. So in the Remix IDE, we have the three sections. First one, File Explorer. This is where we will create our Solidity file or projects. In this section, we'll compile our project. And this is the part where we will deploy the project. So let's go back to the file explorer. I'll delete these files. These are default files provided by Remix ID. So we don't need these files. So let's delete everything. And delete this one as well. All right, now we have the clean uh, project. So let's create a new file here inside the contract folder. I'll declare code is alert.sol. And here, the first line of the Solidity file is you need to declare the license type. So I'll declare spdx license identifier. And I'll declare the license type for this file is MIT. It is a best practice to open source your code so that other developers can verify and audit your code. If in case for any reason your code is not open source, you can also define or declare it as unlicensed. Like this. But for now, I'll set it to MIT. In the next line, we'll declare the compiler version that we want to use for this project so type pragma pragma solidity and your version number of the compiler that you want to use for this project 0 0.8.0 and end with semicolon so this means our source file will not compile with the compiler version earlier than 0 0.8.0 and if it starts with 0 0.9.0 and we can also declare the compiler version something like this so for example i can declare greater than or equal to 0 0.4.0 and less than 0 0.8.0 so we may want to use the compiler version like this maybe there are few features in the compiler version 0.4.0 which are not available uh, in 0 0.7.0. So that's the reason we are declaring the range uh, and we can use all the different features available in different compiler uh, versions. For now, I'll set the compiler version back to 0 0.8.0. Now let's create our first smart contract. So type in the keyword contract and the contract name. Make sure your contract name is equal to your file name. So my file name is Codis Alert. So I'll give the contract name as Codis Alert. Inside the contract body, we'll define our functions and variables that we want to use inside this contract. And another thing, your contract is equivalent to classes in other object-oriented programming languages. I have set the feature to auto compile, so that's the reason you see this green check mark here. If you have not set it to auto compile, you can go ahead and set it to auto compile. So in that way, if you will type anything, it will auto compile your 
contract so inside the contract i'll type in the variable name so string and name and another data type is uint i'll set it to h and you can see it is auto compiled now so i'll set the visibility to public so by defining the visibility to public it will automatically create the function so solidity automatically create the functions for the variables when you set it to public so first let me show you if i'll deploy this contract you can come to this deployment tab click on deploy and now our contract is deployed but we do not have anything to interact with our contract i do not see any function or anything here so for that i can set it to public and i can initialize the variable with my name and i can set the age and that's it so let's redeploy this contract with the changes we have made so deployed this so this is the modified version of the contract that we have deployed this is completely new contract that we have deployed on the blockchain and this is the old version of the contract so now in this contract we can see we have the name function uh, available here so if i'll click on this name i can call it and it will return the variable value of name here so click on name and you can see it it is returning any from your variable by defining your variables as public solidity will automatically create the functions for it to return the value of your variable and that's how we create the context in solidity and deploy it on blockchain in the next video we will deep dive into solidity data types